Welcome to London, actually Byron to be specific. So we're in Byron. We're gonna look at literal mansions today. We're also gonna look at um, affordable family homes kind of in the same area as the mansions. When I say mansions, I mean like three, $4 million homes. Not too far, $600,000 homes in a very safe area, okay? Um, what else are we gonna look at? Oh, we're gonna look at a street where I might buy a house. So we'll look at that as well. Um, and a whole bunch of other stuff. This really is one of London's best areas. My name's Ryan. I grew up in London. I'm a real estate agent in Southwestern Ontario. I live in London. I do a lot of work here. If you're looking to move to the area and you need some help, some guidance, um, feel free to give me a call. That's my phone number right there on the screen. Okay, so right now, we're on Griffith Street, which kind of runs through, you know what, I'm gonna pull over and I'm gonna show you a map of Byron before I continue. So you see this here? This is Byron, Ontario, right here. These are its borders and this is where I am right now. I just turned down Griffith Street. This kind of runs through the Byron area. A lot of these homes you're gonna see in this area are 80s, 90s, and you might get some that are early 2000s, but not, not a lot. Um, despite their age, they're really nice homes and it's a really nice area. These, these, most of these are like, they're like my age, okay? They're like 35 years old, um, but they're nice homes. And they're gonna sell most of them 800,000 to 900,000. You will get some in the 700s, um, but the, obviously the bigger and the nicer inside, the more money it's gonna be, right? So I'm, I'm gonna say like an average of like 850 for some of these bigger ones, like this guy right here this bigger one, something like that's gonna be more around eight, 850. So this right here is the school district for Byron Somerset, which we're gonna go, go to very soon. Um, it, it's got an eight point rating from the Fraser Institute, which ranks all these schools based on how they do on province-wide testing. So I think it's pretty reliable as to see what kind of school that it is, because they're literally just using test results, right? Um, you can see from these, these, these camera shots, like this is a nice neighborhood. People take care of their homes, it's a great area. See, that one's a lot newer, clearly, eh? So it's gonna be more money. So I'm turning down Whisperwood right now, okay? Now, this is where you're gonna find that Byron Somerset School. It's a very nice school. I struggle doing these videos in the winter, because all the trees, all the leaves are gone, it just looks kind of barren, the grass is starting to die. Um, but you drive down here on a summer day, you can tell it's, it's such a great area to live. Out here to my right is Byron Somerset Public School. So that's the one that is a, is a great school with great ratings. So again, this is this section of Byron right here. I'm gonna go look at mansions in a second. They're also in this same area. So we're on Colonel Talbot. We're gonna turn down Old Oak here in just a second, okay? Um, this street has only like six homes on it and they are absolutely massive. I got some drone footage and you know, you can look at the satellite views to kind of see the lot size. What's crazy is the markets changed so much. They bought, some of these guys bought these homes like before the market blew up for like just over a million. And now they gotta be worth like three, four million dollars. I have no idea because they're hidden behind forested trees, right? So, oh, look at all the turkeys. Dude, look at this massive amount of turkeys just like on the road. They must know it's American Thanksgiving or something. <laughs> gobble, gobble, better move. All right, this is wild. So you're surrounded by a forest, so you get stuff like this. I'm sure they get deer all the time as well. And again, I don't know if my camera's gonna pick up the actual exterior of the home through all the uh, trees. And it's the owners probably don't want me to, right? So fair enough. Um, but I'm just kind of showing you this street. It's here on the map. And I, my personal guess, without going through any of them, just seeing the size of them, I mean, they, these things gotta be like $3 million right now. They're absolutely, okay. Like, look at the size of these things, man. So the street in behind this as well also has mansions. We'll drive down there. And then we're gonna head to some more affordable areas that uh, you might wanna look at moving to if you're moving to London. 
Okay, so that's Old Oak with all the turkeys. All right, we're gonna turn right here on Cherry Grove. This also has some mansions on it. Um, but then there's also like some like a little bit more normal houses nearby, right? So it's very interesting. I'll put some like drone footage over this because again, like they're so far away. I don't know how well my camera's gonna pick up the size and the beauty of some of these homes. But again, you're looking over $2 million for sure, probably in the threes for some of these homes. Don't worry, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna show you homes that you might wanna buy nearby very soon, okay? Um, yeah, we're gonna look at stuff from anywhere from like 550 up to a little over a million dollars coming up here. It's like my favorite one right here. Just massive, eh? Very stately. Okay, so up next, we're gonna go to the Optimus Park area. Um, these are surprisingly affordable for how nice it is. And again, you're kind of right by everything that you need commercial wise, like, like you know, like Metro and all that. And, and there's a wonderful Italian restaurant, Dolcetto up here. And so, this next place I'm going to, I mean, you're backing onto sports fields and it's surprisingly affordable. You can pick up homes for like 750 right now. So let's go have a look at those. All right, so the other side of Bulla Road here is where I've looped around. On my right, that's Optimus Park right there, okay? Um, tons of soccer fields and baseball diamonds and play gyms and all that stuff. And then this section over here is surprisingly affordable. Um, I mean, I realize the market came down a lot. I mean, these would have been a million or more a couple years ago. But now, I mean, I've seen some of these sell for like 750, which is wild. Okay, so let me get my phone out and film it. And I noticed some of you, 750 is still a lot of money. So we'll go look at same kind of area, but 550, $600,000 homes in a little bit. But right now, this is the type of thing that I'm seeing right now sell for around the 750 marks again like you know how it is some of them will be 800 depending on square footage uh and how nice it is inside but this is a fantastic area in a fantastic school district for an affordable price again like byron really is like one of the safest areas of all of london it's a great spot to live and i bet you you can be on the highway in five minutes from here Okay, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Uh, so right here on the map is where I am right now. We've covered kind of this section here of Byron. I'm gonna go drive by uh, the area near the ski hill and just show you what some of those homes are like. They, it's a wide range area. Like they go from uh, 600 up to a million in that area. So I'm gonna drive by there and then we're gonna go look at houses that I might buy soon in, in that one area I was telling you about that backs onto, onto Warbler Woods, okay? Let's go. Once again, my name's Ryan. I'm a real estate agent in this city. If you need help buying a house in London, uh, feel free to give me a call. That's my phone number on the screen. Um, I just like helping people. So even if you just wanna pick my brain, feel free to give me a call, okay? The point of these videos is to give everyone a general idea of what it's like to live in London and what neighborhoods are good and what neighborhoods are bad, okay? So again, that's my phone number. Uh, feel free to give me a call. Okay, so this is Griffith Street on the, I remember I started the video on this street on another part. Now we're kind of like in the heart of Byron, like right by the Boulder Mountain ski hill. We're gonna get there in just a sec. A lot of these homes, um, they look a little different than where we were before. They're, most of them are a little bit smaller and maybe a little bit older. So 70s, 80s, early 80s, you know what I mean? So here, this will give you a general idea of what they look like here as I drive by. Uh, some of them are small, some of them are big. There's such a massive range. Again, on the lower end in this area, we're talking 600,000. Um, it might not be in the best shape for that price. Depends on the market, right? Uh, and then they get up towards a million, okay? It's definitely an older style of home. Personally, I like older style of homes um, rather than the new ones. I like the way they're built. I like the flow and the layout. It's up to you. It's whatever you like. But a beautiful, quiet street. 
and again, you're right by the ski hill. You're like walking distance from the ski hill right now if you're somebody that likes to ski. In fact, we're gonna pass it here in a minute. You know what, you know what I'll do? I'll put on the screen as I'm talking right now uh, some recent sales just so you get a general idea of what they look like in each price range rather than just me blabbing. I'd rather show you, you know what I mean? So here we are, here's Bowler Mountain right here. They also have tubing and stuff for the kids, by the way. So if you're not a skier and the kids just during the winter break, it's up over there, wanna go, wanna go tubing and stuff like that. I mean, it's right in your neighborhood, which is pretty cool. All right, two things left for me to tackle with you, okay? One, we're gonna look at the $500,000 price range in Byron, one of the best parts of London, one of the safest areas of London. And we're also gonna look at uh, this street that I wanna maybe buy on one day that back onto, that I think you should too, uh, that backs onto Warbler Woods, okay? Let's go. Okay, so do you see on your map right here where we were, right? So that's Bowler Mountain. We're driving up Griffith Street. Now we're gonna cross Byron Baseline. Once you get to the other side of this street, the age of the homes change and the price. So now we're talking 1950s, 1960s built homes for a lot of them. Uh, and the price now drops 500 on the low end to maybe 650 on the high end, okay? And this is where um, I would be buying as a starter home. If I'm somebody uh, who wants something small that's a thousand square feet to just get my first home, this is kind of perfect for you, okay? So they're gonna have three bedrooms and one bathroom on the main floor and the basement's gonna be another bedroom and a bathroom. Um, yeah, 1950s, 1960s, they're good homes. It's a great neighborhood. I know I've said that a million times throughout this video, but, but it's true. This is the school district that you're in right here. And this is the average rating of the students after test results. That's at a 10, right? So uh, no matter where you go in Byron, the schools are good. There's no bad schools in Byron. They're all good. Some of these are really nice too. Like it depends on how they took care of it as the owners. You know what I mean? You can see the difference in some of them. All right, up next, let's go to the streets I wanna buy on, all right? Let's go. All right, so this is Timber Drive. Now, if you look on your map here, off of Timber Drive is a bunch of little cul-de-sacs that offshoot into Warbler Woods. So Warbler Woods is this big forest. It's 100 acres of a wooded area with a bunch of trails and stuff that go through there, okay? Uh, it's really cool to not have neighbors in your backyard, except for maybe some deer and some turkeys. Uh, that's it, you know what I mean? Um, that's a lot better than some like nosy neighbor with an elevated deck looking down at you. <laughs> so um, I, I like this better. A lot of them are big. So they're going from a million to two million in here. Don't need the space right now, but you know, uh, at some point, if I need more space, this is the kind of area that I would be looking to buy. Listen, for that price, it's up to you. You can get new homes as well for that price that aren't backing onto a forest that are in a subdivision. I personally would rather have something that's, um, you know, 30 years old, but backs onto nature rather than backs onto uh, nosy neighbors. You know what I'm saying? So in behind all these is that 100 acre forest and there's trails right out their backyard that go back there, which is pretty cool. You know, and depending on the season, I mean, like I, I, I went for a walk there not that long ago in the fall it was absolutely beautiful. Like, look at some of this footage of me back there in the fall, a little bit of snow on the ground. It's awesome. They're pretty big homes too. Most of them you're getting 3,000 square feet. Um, so, you know, lots of room in these. And again, so if they're out of date, because they are 30 years old now, a lot of these. So if they're out of date, you're looking around a million just over. Um, my GoPro battery died, so let's go to Studio Ryan for uh, more info on the Byron area. Take it away, Rye! Okay, one more thing I want to mention before we call it a day, and that is this little, like, triangle in Byron right here. Okay, so you see this? This is Springbank Park. It's London's biggest and best park. We've talked about it before. It's beautiful in every season, in winter, in, in fall, throughout the summer. It's an awesome place to be with soccer fields and picnic tables and a river that runs through it. It's awesome, okay? 
these condos that are in this little triangle look right over the park. So two great things is one, you got a great view, and then the other is your walking distance from the park. So some of these two bedroom, two bathroom uh, condos, they do get kind of pricey, like like this one here sold between, uh, well, right around six hundred and fifty thousand um, dollars. If you go to what, there are a couple older buildings right there as well. If you go into those, they'll be a bit cheaper. This one was really out of date. It sold for. 450 you might get up to 550 depending on how it looks inside but of course it's going to be an older building it's not going to have the ensuite washroom and all that stuff but uh if you're looking to buy a condo or rent a place i personally would be looking for those right there across from springbank park um you can rent these for around 2200 bucks a month so that's it. That's my tour of Byron. Uh, I'm, again, I'm going to try and do like everywhere in London eventually. Um, that's my phone number on the screen. If you need help looking for a place to buy in London, go on a binge watching journey. There's lots of other videos on this channel.